So, g'day fellow coin collectors, how are you going? This is Glenn, back with another video. And today, we're just going to have a look and see if we can tell the different mint marks from the 1966 two cent coin. So, I'll flip it over. And as you can see, this coin is actually a 1966 two cent coin. So, it's in pretty good grade, except for all this stuff down here, but that can probably be taken off. Looks like it has some um, bronze disease up here though. But this coin was actually minted in three mints. So it was minted in Canberra. It was minted in Melbourne. Yes, Melbourne had a mint at that time still. And it was minted at Perth. So the three mints that Melbourne, uh, Australia did have. Uh, there was a Sydney one, but they haven't minted coins for a long time. So what we are looking for here... If I zoom in, oh, if you don't know, this is actually a frill neck lizard. It doesn't live in Melbourne where I live. It lives further up north in more arid areas. And it looks like a Dilophosaurus that you see on um, Jurassic Park. A very ferocious one that ate the fat guy. So anyway, the what we are looking for here is the claws. So... Uh, pixelation is bad. So the claws that you're looking for is this one here. This one has to be blunt. And this one here has to be blunt. So the coin with uh, no blunt claws is the Canberra coin. So this one, so this claw here is not blunted. So as you can see, it goes into a point. And this claw here, the third one, is not blunted. So that means that this coin was actually minted in Canberra. I have three other coins. We're just going to have a quick look and see whatever mints they are minted in. But what we're looking for is that if this claw is blunted, then that is the Melbourne mint. If this claw is blunted, that is the Perth mint. So let's have a look at the other ones. The other one's in uh, less grade than this one. Oh, so this, uh, that's, let's see if we can get a good, this one's pretty circulated. This claw is not blunted, so that's counted out. But this one, oh, is that blunted or not? It looks like it might be blunted, but the damage is pretty pretty big I'm gonna say it's blunted or well, maybe not so that's a bit hard to tell because of the damage so uh, I'm gonna say it's not blunted so it's a melt uh, camber mint so let's look at the other coin okay so this claw is not blunted this one actually looks like it is I don't see the claw on that. Doesn't seem to be damaged in that area. So this one is actually the Melbourne mint. So because the actual claw is a lot blunted. And if uh, I put them both together, you can see this one ends in a point, and this one's rounded. Let's see if we can get a better better. Okay, so we are looking up here. This ends in a point. Focus. Oh, yeah, there you go. So this one ends in a point, as you can see there, and this one is blunted. So these are two different mints. So that's how you can tell the 1966 two cent coin. But I do have one last coin that we can have a look at. And. And this is not blunted, so that excludes the perf mint, but this one is blunted. Looks like it's blunted. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it is blunted. So that is also a Melbourne mint. So what have I got here? I've got 
two blunted coins on the first third claw and the two unblunted coins so what are the mintages well the 1966 camper mint had 145 million 20 has a uncir uncirculated book value of five dollars the melbourne mint has 66.57 million there's a book value of ten dollars the Perth Mint had 217.73 million and has a book value of six dollars. I'm not too sure why that value is more than the Canberra Mint when the mintage is higher. Anyway, uh, only it's uncirculated, but in these type of grades, these coins are really only worth probably about a dollar each. So that's pretty well circulated grain. Because of the high mintage, these are going to be very common for hundreds of years to come. So like 500 years, they'll probably still have a value of about, well, you could probably buy them for $5 in 500 years. In a thousand years, probably $10. So they will never be a rare coin in history. So I hope this helps you work out what the actual categorization of these coins and as soon as i get the coins from the other denominations the one five ten twenty cent coin then uh, i'll make a video so we can go through and see if we can find the mint mark thank you very much and have an awesome coin collecting time people okay bye bye